and Michael Palau, your officials, and out of the gates, Bolton creating a turnover. Gonzaga, what a play to get things started tonight. And now you see the Bulldogs try to get in their half-court offense, and, and we'll see if the ball can find Drew Timmy. And it did. How about Drew Timmy finding the puck in? <laughs> Haven't even gotten a shot off yet. That's four turnovers on four possessions. And Watson pulls and fires and hits. Four seconds on the shot clock. McLaughlin. McLaughlin fades away and hits just as the shot clock mm -hmm. expires. They don't have a chance. I really do think Ray Harrison's, he's got to really go for some big numbers tonight. He's certainly capable. Stronger going for some big numbers. Gonzaga's deflecting the basketball. McMillan takes it, goes high glass. Bolton tried to throw it off at Harrison. Here comes Harrison. Taking it all the way. Harrison laying it up for two. Because we had Jamie Sykes, who is a center fielder for our baseball team, who has a great arm, so he turned. Bill Jenkins to jump, and then, of course, Bryce was our best shooter. It has stayed, and we love it. All right, so look, they didn't plan this, but the selection committee put Baylor and Grand Canyon. GCU looking to add to its two-point advantage. Here's the ball. Timmy sent it back the other way. Not tonight, my friend. Yeah, Time. this one perfectly. But watch the stare down mm -hmm. Avery afterwards. The mustache is all over that one. I tell you what, you guys mentioned it early, Lisa. The Lopes, their crowd is here tonight. Grand Canyon, a team that shoots 38% from three for the season. That one is blocked by Watson. It's Zags basketball. Fields alluded to that yesterday with us, that he was okay this year. Not going into the tournament with the number one seed, sort of bricks hanging on their shoulders. McMillan gets the two. Zags' last field goal coming with 16 minutes and 53 seconds here in this half. Harris, he takes it. He was looking for the thunderous throwdown. Yeah, that would have brought the Grand Canyon's student section. Brought the house down. How about the soft touch? Malachi Smith. Three seconds to shoot. McLaughlin turns, faces the basket, and knocks it down. 9 1 1 late clock situation. Pass is deflected. And we'll go right into the hands of Craig. Ben Craig. Baker now with four seconds on the shot clock. Over to Ellis. Who finds an open for three. That's not necessarily how they planned it, but it worked out. But one second on the clock. Oh, nice move. Ooh, what a tough take, and Baker gets the finish. It was, Lisa. And like you said, I was surprised because it was working so well. It was taking the loads out of their offense. Drew Timmy. And a good feed to Anton Watson. Green Cannon will kind of melt this shot clock. They've done it a few possessions here. Backdoor look, Harrison again off the bounce. He hit one. Yeah, he's got a couple from there. Pick and roll concept, staggered screens. Three now to shoot. Baker over to Ellis. Pulls from the baseline. Luchero battling for the offensive rebound. Get into the hands of Malachi Smith to Ellis. Spin move, stays with it. Top shot. You know, I remember the Final Four was in Phoenix. We draw a go. A good challenge. Strother staying vertical on that defensive play. Here comes Timmy. Passes over to Watson. Gets his own miss for the putback. Strother again. He's finding success there in the paint. And six have come off second chance points. He's got 11 points. Three of six from the field. Somebody, I don't know how Ray Harrison just kind of slithered his way through. Timmy's on the top side playing post defense, gave up the lane for the drive. Watson with the spin move and a jump hook. Grand Canyon defense a little bit, which may open up some threes, possibly in the second half. That's a long two. Well, it's just inside, but it falls for McMill. Four of seven shooting here for him. Nine points for Ch Chance McMillan. Strother again. Do you guys think Grand Canyon is resigned to the fact that they really can't match up with Gonzaga on offense? So 
they want to outscore them. I think that's what their mindset is. To outscore the top scoring team in the country. Strother out there. Timmy keeps it alive. Timmy spin move. Oh, the All-American going to work. Strother. His first three-point make, boy, he's cooking. Once he catches it, he's ripping, he's going, he's shooting. Three three-pointers for the Zags, all from three different players, and Strother is one. There's a two-pointer now for Bauman. Right inside of 10 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Second to shoot. Here comes Hickman. Transition to the fourth three. Rajir Bolton. Talented family. Here's Timmy looking for his first points. There he gets it. Nice job by Timmy in that situation. A much different look on that possession. His first points of the second half. And flips it up. McLaughlin has another two. Good job of being able to stop, gather himself, and understand the double team is coming and elevate with that jump hook. Every single possession, they have given a touch to Drew Timmy. Bolton dribbled off his foot. The dive from McMillan, the good hustle. Here comes Grant Canyon. Right here. And Harrison keeps it himself instead. Athletic move and the finish with the left hand for eight points. Under control, poise. Strother, a tough two to make. Eight point advantage, largest lead of the game for the Zags. Hitting. Nolan Hickman forces a timeout by Bryce Drew. Or Lips. And Greg got a piece of that. Seven blocks here for the Zags. Strother, a pull-up three, and just drains it. The tip, Strother tipped it to himself for the rebound. 15-point advantage. The Zags looking to build off of it. Watson on the trail three. Knocks it down. The sixth three-point net for the Zags. Looked like when Matt Miller received that shot, he was wide open. Touch there for Bolton. In the first four, that upset Purdue. <laughs> I still feel bad. We usually <laughs> mean, I lost. Maybe not so bad. Oh, finger roll finish for Harris. And remember, with about six minutes left in the first half, the Wolves led by seven. There's a bucket for McMillan. They are a team that can handle anything they can throw at them. And that Gonzaga program, Michigan State program, very close because of Judd Heathcote. Oh, Spokane. This is boys. It's fantastic. Chance McMillan for three. Be a car, Steve. Out of comments. <laughs> a three for Strother. Look at the big man Timmy get down and defend against Ray Harrison. Ooh, Walter Ellis stroking it from distance. Two seconds to shoot. Gets his own miss and reverses it. Hunter Salas, beautiful. WCC Conference Tournament Championship. McDonald's All-American. He has some talent. Starting to get his groove. Harrison steps into it. Championship type defense that play. Pick and rolls, isolation. Smitty alluded to their block shots. And Timmy with a flat here. For the Zags. And kind of a looky what I found. And Drew Timmy finishes it off. He's got 17. Uh, he's brought, they brought in some great coaches. Dan Marley. Bob Rice Drew. It's at the list is short in the Division yeah. 1. Three fouls from the top. Good basketball. Oh, what a talent. Harrison's a quite a talent, too. Yes, he is. Ray Harrison with 17. Ellis on the bench, man. I know it hurts, but it's got a bright future. Who got to go? Around and around the falls. Not necessarily with the attention that a number one seed always gets. The target that a number one seed always gets. Big side step three. Maybe the last bucket for Ray Harrison. There's Gonzaga's going to improve to 16 and 1 in March. Since 2020, the highest win percentage in the country. Timmy. Oh, Jerry on top. Drew Timmy now with 21. 
82 to 70 the final. The Zags off to the round of 32, and they've now won 10 straight.